Well, welcome back to another episode, everyone. Before we get started in this week's video, I just wanted to make a quick announcement and say that I'm gonna be giving away a free river salmon fishing charter with me personally for this fall on the Big Manistee River. This is gonna be a six hour trip for two people and all you have to do to get entered and to win this trip is one, like this video, Two, comment down below here your favorite style of fishing or really whatever you'd like to say. And three, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and you'll be automatically entered and to win this thrilling fishing trip. I'll be choosing a winner at random in two weeks and I will announce the winner either in a video or on a post on this YouTube page so you guys can all see who wins this trip. But without further ado, let's get started in this week's exciting episode of bushwhacking for brookies and salmon fishing on Lake Superior. There is something to be said about harvesting and consuming your own fresh catch out of a beautiful natural resource such as Lake Superior. Then on top of that, to be able to share this experience with a close friend makes the trip even that much more rewarding. Kurt and I are back at our tent camp along the shoreline of Lake Superior. In our last episode from this trip, we were persistent in our hunt and after covering many miles of shoreline, we were able to capture a limit of quality coho and king salmon. In this episode, our goal is to pick up where we left off last week and hunt down more chrome on Lake Superior. If we can do that, then we will take you back to our camp with us where Kurt will share an immaculate fish dinner. Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Chasing. <laughs> That's how you cook a ham. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. <laughs> Hang on. Well, welcome back to yet another mosquito infested episode. Well, we are gonna start off today by venturing out to Lake Superior. It looks like we'll only have one to two hours to fish before the wind kicks up. So we're gonna go see if we can find some fresh salmon to start off this adventure. Backwoods, baby. You, you gotta live under this, the, the rain of this stuff. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Well, we got the boat in the water. We survived the mosquitoes. Let's go see if we can find a silver fish or two. Go! Okay, we're ready. Here we go. Brian's flounder. Get the moonshines out, baby. We're all set down. Fish, fish, fish. Right there, top board, top board, top board. Nice. Oh, got one on, baby. First fish of the morning, guys. Just getting set up. We didn't get three rods in the water, and we got one. Right. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. We didn't even get three rods in it, we already got a double. Who's running that? Come on, baby, get him, get him, get him! Dude, I think he came off. No! It looks like it's a beautiful coho, yes. A beautiful coho. All right, baby, we're on with the- Oh, baby, on the board, baby! <laughs> Well, we set up into some pure chaos, to say the least. We had four fish on before we even got three rods in the water. We lost three of them, but we did get one in the boat, so the skunk is out, but we definitely gotta bring up this batting average. That's a beauty. Wow, look at the shine on that. Wow. Oh, net, bro. Net, we got it. 
Real yours, real yours. Dude, I think we have averted danger. I think we're good. Yeah! There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Got one on, guys. Water ski time. All right, another coal. Nice, nice, nice. Diver, diver, diver. Here we go. Just put this diver out. Well, there he is, right on the surface, man. Right on the surface. Oh, yeah. Here he comes, baby. Get the net. <laughs> Another eater, more groceries. Out, baby. Chrome in the cooler, baby. Although the action wasn't fast and furious, we were able to pick away at some beautiful coho salmon to take home and fill our freezers with. These fish are up there towards the top of my list as far as table fare goes, and we were definitely happy to have them aboard with us. Going into the day, we knew we would only have an hour or two to fish before the wind would pick up and the open waters would build large swells. Thankfully, after our second pass, we had nine nice coho in the box and we just needed one more bite to close out our limit. Bass boat. We're bass boat. Ah, yeah, baby. Oh. Boy, you slapped me in the face. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Try to thumb it down. Oh man, it's a nice one. Come on, man. I'm running out of line, man. I'm running out of line. Well, we have nine coho in the box. We've released a few coho, and I think we just hooked our first king of the day. We'll see what it is, but if this is a king, we're going to take this fish and we'll call it good with our limit and head back to camp. Oh. Oh. Dude, dude, I fought that baby like the, like the king that it was, man. Got a king, baby. Oh. Dude, that was some beautiful action. A beautiful king to top off our 10. What a nice battle this was, a beautiful fish. Wow, what a blessing. It's such a gorgeous fish, it's got purple on it. Woo! I am so, so happy to have landed this fish on Lake Superior with my buddy Kyle. Wow. Look at that. Shine on on that. Look at the purple. Let me get that. Look at the purple, it's so beautiful. Kyle and I come over here to clean our 10 pack of cohos and king. And we walk down to the dock and this guy's coming out with a boat and he's got some white fish on. And I goes, man, those are nice. He goes, yeah, I catch a lot of these out here. And I'm like, oh man, we just caught a bunch of cohos. I'd love to have a couple of those. I got this recipe I want to throw down. And the guy says to me, well, I'll trade you two white fish for two coho. And I'm like, game on. So I go to the cooler, grab him to a nice coho. He throws me a couple of nice fresh whiteies. <laughs> so. I couldn't believe my excitement, dude. I've been wanting to get some fresh ones to cook this recipe for Kyle. Blackened, creamed whitefish. But wait till you see this recipe. It is growling good. When you put your face down on a plate of this, you're like a wolf growling so that no one gets close or you'll chew their arm off. It's that good. So next time you see me, I'm going to be turning into Mr. Mafia Saucier and stand back. Drop the mic, baby. First you do is you scale them, get all the scales off, because we're gonna cook these with the skin on, which is the only time you can really enjoy these like this is when they're fresh. Otherwise, you need to fillet them all the way. Get as many of these off as you can. First you scale them out, and as soon as you're done scaling them out, you fillet them off. We call it slabbing them. And then you get as much of that belly meat on there as you can.
First thing we're gonna do is get our potatoes going because they take the longest. And then while they're cooking, we can uh, prepare our other things. But I've taken my knife and just cleaned up some of these bad spots. What do the potatoes play a role in in the recipe? This is uh, the mashed potatoes part of it that the whole thing goes over and that's like critical. So we're doing the mashed potatoes first and then the whole whitefish recipe goes over top of the mashed yes, potatoes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds legit. Yeah. Okay, so now we're starting to prep things. So we're gonna wanna brown some flour that's gonna be part of our gravy because brown flour has a lot better flavor and we're gonna, we're gonna put quite a bit of it in there just to make sure we got enough to get our gravy because we're gonna do two batches. We're gonna just let that heat up a little bit. But as soon as it starts to turn brown, it gives it a nice caramely, kind of toasty flavor. And then now watch, it'll start to go. And once it starts to go, you're done, man. You don't want to burn it. Do not burn the Do flour, guys. Do not burn the flour. Okay, don't that's it, the man, flour. that's it. We're okay, next there. step, what's your next Put step? Put the potatoes back on. Potatoes okay. are warming back up see here. See this pan still hot? Yep. keep it moving. the color. Keep it moving, don't let that flour don't burn. Don't let the flour burn, baby. This is the gravy. This is the Mr. Saucier. This is the Saucier, man, Mr. Mafia, baby. Mr. Mafia right here. Okay, see now, always have a pan ready. Now, as soon as all that white's gone, you see that? that get them out of there, man. It's all brown. We don't want to burn it. So my next step, I'm going to get out red peppers and slice them up so that I can saute them because they go in after the fish is at its fall apart flake zone, <laughs> which I call the flavor blast zone right when you get there to that point that's when you add all the goodies so it all has to be prepped ahead of time so next thing i'm doing red peppers got some melted butter with oil here You don't want to add too much of anything to this because you want them drier. So keep the potatoes drier. Yeah, I only put in like a four tablespoons of butter, which is really rare for me to do. But you want them a little bit drier because of what we're doing here. Okay, keep those warm. And for those of you who don't know, you can buy whitefish just like this with the bones out and skin on at most fish markets. So you can definitely find this kind of fish if you're not able to go out and catch it or trade it. Okay, so now, Zatarain's Blackened Seasoning. The one and only. This is the deal right here. It's gotta be Zatarain's. Now you don't overdo it because it's gonna get really spicy if you do, but you wanna give color from one end to the other. It's just about ready. You don't want it to burn. Take a little water. If it jumps back at you, you're good. Okay, so now the fillet, skin side down. half and half cream here. This looks about right. We'll turn the heat down a little bit. About that much. Okay, now that we see this is simmering real good here, now we're gonna take some brown flour. We're gonna sprinkle this around in here. This is the same fr this the is the same flour that Kurt browned at the beginning. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that bubbling. Turn this way look at that. down. Oops, I didn't mean to turn it out. Spread this around. Get it spreading around. Starting to thicken up, see it? Keep it moving, baby. Okay, more grit, more milk. Half and half, not milk. Because it's cream, baby. Just about there. Okay, then we take some of this corn. in the peppers. Okay, are you ready? Bon appetit, my brother. 
I am speechless. I don't even know where to start here. This is just unbelievable. Check this out. I got a bite of mashed potatoes, bite of whitefish. Immediate explosion of flavor in my mouth. Kurt, dude, this is unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Dude. I knew you'd like it. This is so good. Oh my God. Once again, Kurt has absolutely spoiled me with a world-class camp dinner. Wow. Oh yeah. Let's see if it's any good. Or if you were just talking. Wow. Sitting here contemplating tomorrow, we are going bushwhacking. We're gonna suit up, spray ourselves with as much deed as we can possibly spray ourselves with, and head into the deepest part of the forest to go to these little brooks that trickle down crystal clear to target these little assaulters that come out of nowhere, little brook trout. They are so much fun to catch. You can't think that you could get much better than what we've been eating, but a little brook trout fried in a pan hole. <laughs> Heaven, baby. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're going to get some brookies. We're going to go into the heavy, heaviest of brush where the biggest, meanest mosquitoes hang out, and we're going to take them on, baby. <laughs> we're going to come out victorious. Brookies in hand, baby. Brookies. Yes. That's what we're doing tomorrow. It's going to be really nice. sip dude it's the best your eye <laughs> what happened what happened i was sleeping and this mosquito assaulted me Says, settle down, boys. <laughs> settle down, boys. They just did a 200 yard lap. Did you get it all on video?
<laughs> That's how you cook a ham. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. <laughs> Hang on. Potato pancake, ham, egg, pineapple. Why does everything taste so good? <laughs> well, we're suiting up for some serious, serious bushwhacking. And when I say serious, we got out of the truck and we thought the mosquitoes were bad where our camp was. <laughs> We immediately put mosquito nets on. They're like all over your hands. Yeah, but we're getting ready to go into the woods. I can hear the babbling of this little brook that we know of here. We're gonna hunt down, and I say hunt down brook trout. You literally have to hunt them down. Sneak in, attack them, assault them from the bottom. If you're lucky enough to sneak in there and not let them know you're there, you can get one. And they are fun to catch. Prepare him for battle, baby. Look at it. Look at it. Dude. Look at it. Oh, so the holes. What beautiful, beautiful water. Oh, one just chased it, Kurt. I saw it. Oh. Dude, why did you set the hook like that? <laughs> I got excited, man. I got excited. Now he won't come back. Oh, he came back a second time. No, no, no. Got him guys, got him, got him baby. Another little guy, another little guy. Gave me my worm back though. That actually might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Darren, we got a keeper baby. We got a keeper guys. Seven and a half incher, we'll go ahead and keep him. Okay, we got one keeper down, one keeper towards our brookie dinner. Let's catch another one here guys. That one was seven and a half inches. They have to be seven to keep. Let's see if we can add to it. Get enough for a brookie meal tonight. There we go, guys. Got one. Got one. Got one, baby. Got one. Might be a keeper. Might be a keeper. Gonna wet my hand just in case. Another keeper, baby. Another keeper. All right, let's go for number three. Come on, number three, baby. Gotta get enough for a dinner tonight. Hopefully, Kurt's finding some fish. He's way upstream right now. I'm just working it out in this big hole. I tried walking downstream a ways, but it was just so tight and didn't have much success, so I just came back to this big, deep hole, and I'm getting a bite. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was just jibber jabber and I got train wrecked. Oh my goodness. Let's send this little piece of worm back down through there. Oh, there's a bite. Got him, got him, got him, guys. Nicer fish, nicer fish. Nicer one, nicer one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, not, not a giant, but he's a keeper, it looks like. Yes, 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 yes. Looks like another keeper.
，再想，再想再，再想，再想。好，我不提了，我不提，不是我的。That fish that I just messed with a decent fish. Nice one, nice one, Kurt. Nice one, Kurt. Beautiful brookie, guys. Beautiful brookie. You got him. Beautiful brookie, oh, yeah. Kurt. Nice, brother. Yeah. Nice, brother. <laughs> Mosquito invasion is beginning. Look at this, man. Beautiful brookie, Look guys. Look at this. Just a beautiful, beautiful brookie. Check out those spots, guys. Absolutely beautiful. About 1,500 mosquito bites, six hours of bushwhacking, and I was able to catch my limit of nice eater brookies, guys. Let a bunch go, and I know Kurt got some as well, so we just had a great day out here. But now, it's time to get out of the mosquito invasion, get back to camp, and start cooking them up. With our brookies here, I'm just gonna gut them. Gonna keep the heads on. I'm gonna remove the gills. And I'm gonna remove the guts, and we're gonna fry them up just like that. Well, tonight I'm going to cook our brook trout, and I'm also gonna do a cherry cobbler in the Dutch oven over an open fire. So we're gonna have fresh brook trout and cherry cobbler for dinner. goodness okay here we go guys we're gonna go surprise Kurt he's been passed out for a couple hours the morning sunshine <laughs> we have a special <sighs> delivery pan fried brook trout and cherry cobbler oh my god breakfast in bed at camp <laughs> <laughs> let me get up here you got it? Yeah. I got <laughs> Dude, you've been talking about making this. I never thought it was going to come out right. This is awesome. <laughs> Not a bad way to wake up from a nap. Just... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is well-earned. Bush fish. <laughs> there, there was a lot of mosquito bites that went behind capturing this dinner. Oh my god, dinner. it tastes so good because of it. Mm. That's amazing. I'm going for the cherry cobbler first too. 
That is the most delicious dessert I could ever imagine eating. The best thing about Brookies is the meat falls right off the bone, baby. Oh my gosh. All those mosquitoes, all that bushwhacking is 100% worth it. Wow. We picked a skeleton clean, man. Yeah. Holy crap. Last bite. Gonna send this meal off with a blast. Oh, that was the best bite, too. Oh, man. That crunchy cherry cobbler with those fresh cherries. It's just unbeatable. What Was it worth it? Was it worth bushwhacking, mosquito biting? <laughs> man, when you can eat one of those little babies, it is all worth it. They were so, so delectable. Hard to describe how good they were. You just have to taste it to believe it. And the only way you're ever gonna get one of these is if you catch it yourself, because nobody in their right mind would go out and do what we did and give it away. <laughs> so if you ever wanna eat Brookies, you're gonna come out here, eyes get swollen closed, ears are so swollen and buzz full, Kyle's head looks like it's been hit with 4,000 knots. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what we do for those little delectable babies <laughs> but it's all worth it and the cherry cobbler oh, 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 oh. that's a good way to wake up and now what are we doing butter pecan crusted walleye yeah we're gonna do some honey butter pecan encrusted walleye oh. for a follow-up <laughs>